This is the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro. And today on Cruise Man's Garage, I'm going to compare it to the Grand Falls Pressure Washer, the base model that I received last February. So if you watched my video last February where I reviewed and tested the Grand Falls Pressure Washer, you'll know it was one of my favorite new tools. I had never owned a pressure washer and just didn't really know what I was missing. So I tested it out cleaning my driveway. Uh, it did a great job and I used it to clean off my gutters. I used it to wash my motorcycle using the foam cannon that came with it and of course washing the cars. So I've just found a lot of different very useful things to do with this pressure washer. So I'm very anxious to see if the new pressure washer pro is better, more powerful maybe. Uh, they claim it's quieter. They say it has more PSI, higher PSI, more pressure. So let's check it out. Well, I want to start out by letting everybody know that Giraffe Tools is not sponsoring this video. They did not pay me to make the video, but they did send me this Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro to review and to compare to the base model Grand Falls Pressure Washer. So let's start by unboxing and show you what comes in this new model. The first thing I noticed with this new one arrived is the box it comes in, even though it's identical to the box the other model came in. So uh, you do notice that right off the bat. I do notice there's a lot more weight. And when we open up the box and look inside, it's packaged very similar to the previous model. It comes with all of the same accessories that uh, the previous model came with. Now, rather than spend a lot of time going through a complete unboxing, I did this on the previous model. So if you want to go watch that video, I'll put a link in the description and up above in this video if you want to watch that. Uh, it does come with all the same accessories. Now, when I remove the styrofoam, I can see the unit itself. And the first thing you notice is that the hose is different. It's a gray hose as opposed to the black on my previous model. And uh, the gun that comes with it is a little bit different. It looks different. It has a little bit different design. They refer to this as a metal gun. I'm not sure why, because the body of the gun is still plastic. Perhaps there's metal components on the inside that make it a little bit different than the standard model. But I noticed when lifting this out of the case, it is much heavier than the previous model. So I'm going to go grab my existing pressure washer, the base model. You can see it's very easy just to lift off that mounting bracket. And I'm going to bring it into the garage right next to the other one. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. If you look at the unit side by side, the Pro model is on the left. You can see it sits up a little higher. It's a little taller than the standard base model. Uh, the hose is the biggest difference. You can see the gray hose, and we'll talk more about that hose here in a minute. The Pro model comes with the exact same mounting plate as the base model and all the same mounting hardware. So if you want to see how I mounted mine, uh, watch my previous video. I show how I mounted it to my garage wall. There is one exception I'll talk about at the end of this video that I think you might want to consider when mounting the Pro model. Now if we look around the unit on all different sides, you can see there's very little difference. They look virtually identical. There's a few plastic pieces that have a different color, but the essential design is I would say close to identical. All the cords are the same. The water inlets are on the same side. The switches look identical. Really the biggest difference you notice is this gray hose, which appears to have a larger diameter. This is the black hose that comes with the uh, previous or the base model. You'll notice this gray hose on the Pro model. It feels much more flexible. It feels more like a rubber where the hose on the base model, I would say, feels a little more plasticky. It's, uh, it's just not as flexible and bendable as the Pro model. 
Another difference in the Pro model is this foam cannon bottle. Now, this is the bottle that came with my original uh, Grand Falls pressure washer. The one on the right is the new bottle that comes with the Pro model. And yes, it is smaller, so it will hold less liquid, but it's still more than enough for any car or truck. And what I like about it is you'll notice the old bottle, the one that came with my previous model, would not fit in the little holder on the back of the pressure washer. The new bottle fits perfectly. It's a perfect fit. I love that. And here you can see the differences in the two gun assemblies that come with both pressure washers. On the left hand side is the one that came with my base model. The one on the right is the one that comes with the Pro model. Here I've removed the left side cover so we can see the water inlet hose and the pump assembly. And this is my original base model pressure washer. And here you can see the Pro model. Now, it might not be obvious at first glance, but there are some pretty significant differences in the two models. If we look a little closer, this is the Pro model, and you'll notice it's got some more of that flexible hose, uh, rubbery hose, I call it, and it's it does appear to have a larger diameter. I'm not sure if it is a larger diameter, but it sure feels like it is. If we look on the original model that I had, this one has the inlet hose is a little bit stiffer. Uh, it just doesn't have the same quality feel that the Pro model has. The biggest difference is in these pumps. If you look at the pump assembly here on that Pro model, it looks substantial. It's got a really big heavy motor. By comparison, the pump on the base model is not nearly as big, not nearly as substantial, and uh, this, you can just see a big difference here. It may be hard to see on video, but you can sure notice it uh, when you see it in person. It That's probably the reason for that additional 300 PSI that the Pro model is rated at. So now I want to do a comparison of the sound coming out of these two units. The Pro model is rated at, uh, I think, 10 decibels lower sound output than the base model. So I've hooked my base model back up on the wall, plugged it in, hooked everything up. We're going to turn it on and see how it sounds first. <laughs> Now let's turn on the Pro model and see if we can tell a difference. Now for this sound test, I did keep my camera in the exact same position. It's the exact same distance from both units. I did not move it. I will tell you that the Pro model is rated about 10 decibels uh, quieter than the base model. I don't know if I can my ears can tell that much difference in the sound output, but I will say that the sound is much easier to listen to. It's not as hard on the ears, so I'm going to take their word for it that it is actually a quieter pump, and I think initially it does, to me it does sound like it is a little bit quieter, certainly much easier to listen to over a long period of time. So now it's time to put this Pro model to the test. I'm going to unwind some of this hose and I'm going to wash my car. I've been needing to do that anyway, so let's give it a try. I wanted to test this new foam cannon that came with the Pro model. You can notice perhaps that it is a smaller bottle. It worked really well, by the way. It created a great, thick, rich foam and I'm washing this Lexus NX300. I will say, however, I did notice that I ran out of soap just a little bit before I finished the car. So 
I'm not a huge fan of the smaller bottle because it just doesn't quite hold enough. I wish uh, they would update it maybe to have a taller bottle, the same diameter, because I like the fact that it fits in the back of the Pro model. Uh, but it, it doesn't quite hold enough uh, to finish a larger vehicle. So if you're doing something like a pickup truck or a van, you may find yourself running out of foam and having to refill this little canister. So here I'm rinsing off the car using the 15 degree, I believe it's 15 degree is how they refer to these, the tip, the orange tip. And this is what I normally use. I'm not sure if I can tell the difference between 2200 PSI and 2500 PSI. It certainly doesn't feel any less powerful than the uh, base model. And what I will say though, the biggest difference I noticed in using this new one, it is much more satisfying because the hose uh, is more flexible and it doesn't kink up like the stiffer hose did on the base model. So I really, really love that, that softer, more flexible, that gray hose. Also, this hose is replaceable. So if it were to fail or get damaged, uh, you can easily replace the hose. That's a big, big feature. And as with the base model, the retractor works perfectly. Uh, because the hose is more flexible, though, I think it's easier to retract because it doesn't kink up. I think it just uh, really is much more elegant overall than the base model. The installation hardware that comes with the pressure washer appears to be designed to go into like a brick wall or a concrete wall. And as you can see, I'm installing this on sheetrock with 16 inch studs. The centers are 16 inches apart. Now, when I installed the original one, as I am here, I had two of these long lag bolts going into my stud and then the other two just going into the sheetrock using anchors. I don't think I'd feel comfortable using this method with the pro model because it is so much heavier. So what I did was I got two 20 inch 2x4s and I lined them up so that I used some very, very long lag bolts into those studs 16 inches apart. So they're in there firmly. And then I used the mounting plate with some wood screws, very long wood screws, and mounted that to those 2x4s. So this is a super, super strong installation. So what is my overall impression of this Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro from Giraffe Tools? Well, this model sells for about $599, and that's almost twice as much as the base model that I had previously. However, I will say, I think this is substantially a better product. You just look at the difference in features between the base model and this pro model. For me, that ultra soft high pressure hose and the two to three times service life plus the quieter motor are worth the difference in price alone. And at $599, this pro model is still about half the price of any other wall mounted solution I've found. If you're interested in the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro, check the description of this video for links to purchase. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like button. That really does help out our YouTube channel.